Hey guys, Tisha here, and we are back for a recap of Sister Wives' look back how it started. Once again, the bald eagle has shown why he continues to lose his feathers. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. It, it, it. You can't treat people this way and think that you're not going to have karma come back and kick you in your butt. I'm just saying. And the bird continues to act her way into victimhood. But we're going to go ahead and begin. So we start off with the voiceover of Cody letting us know that at this point, they have been public as a polygamous family for over a decade. And since then, a lot has changed. I got to be honest with you guys. I thought that this was going to be another fluff piece, but we were given some nice clips that we can kind of dig into a little bit, right? So at various points, they're all given iPads, by themselves, they're watching. We start with the first clip, which is of the introduction of the OG3. We have Cody saying in the clip, I fell in love and then I fell in love again and then I fell in love again. We then have Mary who's smiling and she says, he fell out of love and then he fell out of love again and then he fell out of love again. And she's laughing at this, but you can tell further down that she's still bothered by the way things are now. And honestly, despite how we all feel about Mary, Mary does have a reason to feel slighted, okay? Uh, cut to Robin, who's looking at it and saying that this is the family that she fell in love with. She fell in love with the family before she fell in love with Cody. Now, me personally, I do not believe that. I feel like Robin and Cody are lying. I feel like Robin found out that these people were going to be on television and that she used it to her advantage and she plotted on Cody. Y'all let me know down below what you believe. We see Janelle saying that despite whatever dramas that they've had, that at this point, even though they were going through things, the kids were cohesive. Cody, on the other hand, says that when it comes to the adults, they all look awful and they all were naive. I feel like Cody still looks awful, um, mainly because of how he's treated the women and these kids. Cody reminisces about all his different weddings and how they were all different. He notably says that he was like a deer in headlights when it came to his marriage with Christine because it was too much pressure and it was way too fast. So if he felt this way, why did he still choose to marry Christine? I wish the producer in that moment asked him where the pressure was coming from. He says, to be fair for the both of us, I'm glad that we had all these life experiences together, but we probably should have stayed in a courtship for much longer. Robin says that them being able to establish a family concept, this one family concept was a big deal for her. She says that, but I don't think Robin really understands or understood what the one family concept entailed because in order to be one family, you have to be willing to put other people's needs before your wants. Example, you didn't need for Cody to get out of his bed and come to your house every morning to help you with your children to get them ready for school. You wanted it. And it was inconsiderate considering that each wife only had a limited amount of time with him in the first place and you were imposing on their time. So we see the whole cringy introduction of Robin. Um, he says to the kids as they're all sitting there, hey, y'all remember Robin? Does everybody like Robin? Because Robin likes us. Mary and Janelle make comments about it being boring <laughs> and time for another wife. Christine vocalizes back then, you are insane. It's fine how it is now. There's no need to rock the boat. Understand that despite all that we've been told, Christine was not okay with this. Christine jumped on board because Christine saw the writing on the wall and Christine knew that had she not followed suit that there would be problems. In the clip, 
Cody says, Robin has had her choice of different families, but she wants to be a part of this family. And you see him in present day as well as Robin while he's saying this in present day, cheesing at the thought of Robin becoming a part of the family. I believe that Cody was really impressed with the fact that he could pull Robin, but I believe that Robin knew that something was going to happen with this family that would secure both her and her children's future. Let's be clear. According to the book, we are only told that there was one older gentleman that was interested in Robin. So this whole talk about how she had all these options is just that. It's talk. Janelle says that at that time, the kids were excited and they thought that Robin and her kids were amazing. They then show a clip of Robin and Cody and how she's saying that that's her soulmate while they're going out on this date. And Mary is looking at the iPad and she's saying, do I have to watch it? Mary still has not let go. I think she still loves some version of Cody and I just think that at this point, it's sad. I myself at various times have thought that Mary is a little pathetic, but at this point, I believe that Mary needs to really dive deep into counseling because she was programmed at a very young age I believe, to feel like the way that Cody treated her at times was okay. Cody says that this was a special time in his life when he met Robin because he had finally fell in love. I have a question for you guys because there's so many instances where I do not know how to take Cody. Do you all feel that he was ever in love with any of the OG3 or do you feel like it was an act. And I say this because I really don't know how to take him. Sometimes I feel like Cody is incapable of love. So back to what's going on. Christine says at this point, it was very difficult for her to be a plural wife because prior to Robin, she knew that they were all on equal ground. Like she knew that. But once Robin came and the soulmate situation arise that things change. She knew visibly that they had something different. Cody says that they were love struck with each other. It was special, but everybody else was complaining about it and that he didn't like that because they didn't like it. Of course, they were immediately treated differently, so, yeah, they would be complaining. And we saw Christine complaining and we saw Mary making some complaints. There were issues before Robin came into the family and he dropped the ball on his family for the sake of Robin. He says he sees these clips and Robin is just so beautiful and she's so about the family. The bird said that it was so special, but it was challenging for her as well because she had to wait for the adjustments and a full embrace. Christine said that she believed in plural marriage and she believed Robin was supposed to be in the family and that Cody did not date her until they all agreed on it. I want to know what Christine considers a date because we've been told that Mary and Cody and Robin were the ones who knew about the three of, of, of them, well, the two, Robin and, and Cody, before anybody else. And it was a secret they had for a little bit. I think that it goes even further than the sister wives even realized. And if they really sat and thought about it, they would realize that uh, the bird and the bald eagle were probably sneaking behind their backs and seeing each other. I could be wrong, but I feel like they started dating before anybody knew. We see this clip where he says he's in love with Robin and he doesn't feel that that diminishes how he feels about his wives. Now, we now know that that's a lie. Mary says she doesn't know what to think or feel when he says this because then he's saying, I'm in love with my wives and I'm in love with Robin. And now he says something differently. So she wants to know, was he lying back then or is he lying now? And that is fair. 
That's beyond fair because this is part of where my confusion comes from. She says in the past years, he said he never loved Christine and he was trying to affirm that he loved Mary. He said that he was choosing to love his wives and that he was reaffirming it constantly by saying I'm in love. But Cody says it wasn't like what he had with Robin. We're told that they shouldn't be comparing things. And here we have Cody who was comparing things. Mary believed that he personally did love all of them. Janelle also feels that she never felt like she wasn't loved. Christine said she would not have married him had she thought that he wasn't in love with her. She felt like he loved her. I'm beginning to think that Cody doesn't really know how to love because the way that he uses it is he kind of weaponizes it. The bird has seen men in plural marriage, according to her, gravitate towards specific wives, and she's always thought that that was destructive. If she would have seen him show any type of favoritism or not be fair, she would have backed away from it really fast. And I guess the bird has an eye injury because how is it that she couldn't see it when we could see it? How is it that she heard all of these complaints from Christine and at times Mary, and she could not see that he favored her. They weren't complaining about the lack of time for no reason. Where was he, Robin? We see the wives then planning for the bird's wedding. Christine said it was fun. Robin lets us know that her mom was the main reason that she decided to include the wives because her mom pointed out how when her husband married other sister wives that she felt like she was left out. All the wives agree that Robin including them was nice and I think that it wasn't just Robin's mom that created her asking them. I think it was the show. Mary says that Janelle included her in the wedding planning for her and Cody, but Christine did not. Christine said that she wasn't doing this intentionally. It just wasn't anything that she thought of. She didn't think to include them. And I guess I can understand why, but if these are supposed to be people who you are forever connected to, you should at least include them in something. But then again, we have to remember that back then they didn't have the type of funds that TLC provided for Robbins. We get to the scene where Cody drops what he knew would be a bomb and reveals that he and Robin picked out her wedding dress. Robin claims in present day that Cody didn't pick it out, that she just got his opinion, but she didn't say that back then. Back then, you see Janelle basically say that she thought that what a moment, what was a moment of the wives bonding together was now kind of ruined by Cody saying that and it didn't really feel like it was real because he got to pick out the dress. Janelle says when he told me about it, that he had a secret that he wanted to tell me, it was quite funny. Christine says it was not something funny. And she looks at Cody and says, you look like an idiot. This once again shows that Cody used to, to, to tell Janelle things regarding his other relationships that he did not tell the other women. Because in this instance, Christine was blindsided, which is why we find out in the book that she walked off that set and was gone for three days. Janelle knew. I like Janelle, but Janelle's a little sneaky too because there's a lot of conversations and things that she seems to know about the other relationships with the wives and what their dynamic is prior to the wives even knowing. Robin said, it was actually something that I had asked him not to share with anybody because I wanted to protect both experience. Be clear. Let's be really clear. Right then and there, Robin showed that she was not going to be a good sister wife because why even include them 
on the process if you were already going to sit there and, and go back out and do this whole thing with Cody and then want to make it a secret just between you and Cody. You could have easily let the, the wives know prior, like, look, I'm going to go ahead and go out and I'm going to let Cody look at the dress. That way they're not blindsided in a confessional about what happened. Well, some of them, because as I said, Janelle knew. Present day, Cody feels like Christine's reaction to finding out the information was irrational. I personally don't. Christine says that that's the day when she realized he was way more in love with her than he was with Christine and it was a hard day. Robin still does not feel like she did anything wrong, which she wouldn't. She says she just got his input. He says, the problem that I had with Christine is that with that whole wedding process and why I wasn't involved in all that is because I really didn't want to be married to her. Cody will say anything to belittle the experience that he had with Christine. And then he wonders why his children in present day do not want to interact with him. In present day, Janelle admits that that whole thing was a crappy move on Cody's part. And she says that maybe that was the beginning of the favoritism. In present day, Mary says that she felt similar to what Janelle said. Like, why did they do all this stuff with her? Just for her to go and turn around and do it with him. Because that stuff, in my opinion, was being done for the show. She didn't really want it included. She wanted to make herself seem like this great sister wife, right? Everything that the bird does is calculating. Please, if y'all don't believe me, go back and look at some things. She really is one of those people who sit there and plot her next move. Christine says she really only wanted Cody's opinion. Uh, the bird doesn't agree with it. Cody said that what happened wasn't fair to the other wives, but it wasn't fair to Robin either. I learned very early on, my English may be janky sometimes. I may get my words twisted up and things of that nature. I have learned, however, that but negates what was said before in the sentence. So he was only worried about how Robin felt. The thinning bald eagle was only worried about the bird. He feels that they included the wives in their special day. And I'm just like, no, sir, that wasn't you including the wives and Robin including the wives. That was TLC's doing. Give me one moment, y'all. Excuse me. That was TLC's doing. We're not going to sit here and act like <laughs> y'all did it. No, they said in the book that TLC is why they were able to have that wedding, that TLC agreed to help pay for it, that they were broke. Cody feels like since him and Robin got married, it's been this accusation of her being the favorite wife. Keep in mind, he makes that statement and at no point does he deny it. Instead, he says, that didn't change the work that was being done in my other marriages and the time spent with my family. He had a lot of joy in his union with Robin, but there was so much criticism about the best time in his whole life. How dare they? <laughs> the best time in his whole life was when he was married to Robin. Not the birth of all his children. You see what I'm saying here? It's the little things that he says that just shows how he really feels. We hear again how they decided to move to Nevada. I still don't buy it. I don't think it was that bad or that dangerous for them. I think that they made it seem like it was worse. Their fears is what made them move and TLC helped them move probably. We see them having a prayer circle before they leave. All of the wives agree that the prayer circle grounded them and at some point it stopped. Mary said that they quit huddling a long time ago. And when they did that, they also quit 
working together and they quit praying together. In the one house, Janelle says that they prayed together every night as a family before everybody went to bed. And the bird felt like that was a part of destiny and belonging when they had those prayers. We see the clip of Cody then announcing that Robin is pregnant with Solomon. You see Christine excited and you see her run over and hug her. The bird on the other hand, out of all things, wants to point out that the teenagers didn't say a thing that they wouldn't even look at her. Before Janelle even said her piece, I wrote, the teenagers did what a lot of teenagers do. They didn't have interest in you having a baby and they saw that as another mouth to feed. Janelle then says, teenagers, Felt like, okay, mom and dad, we have enough kids. Robin turns that into, there were so many voices that were struggling to accept Solomon even after he was born. It's insane the way that this woman manages to rewrite history and change the narrative. She talks about how she's done a lot to forgive those reactions. No one owes Robin any form of apology for the way that they reacted when that announcement was made. They were living in separate homes. They were uprooted. They weren't settled. You were new. They were struggling. They already weren't getting as much time with their father. And here is yet another being that's going to take away some time from their dad. Cody says that there were attitudes when Robin was pregnant with Solomon. Um... I don't think it was an attitude. I think it just wasn't a big deal to them. She says that when she announced her second pregnancy, she wanted Mary to announce it. As Mary announced it, everybody cheered. As a result, she had a sigh of relief that it seemed like a much more unified experience and expressions and everybody clapped. And that was the most united that the kids have been in a long time. Cody says that he thinks that part of this came from them being settled in their homes and the second reaction was a lot better. And I think that common sense says that, yeah, at that point, the kids felt grounded. They show a, a clip of Mary on one of her birthday trips. Cody said that there was a lot of love and there were a lot of things that he loved about Mary, but he did not know that he loved her because of her adventurous side. Mary then says, remember at one point he did love me they show cody saying to janelle he is more in love with her now than ever before present day she says we had a lot of discussions we had a lot of companionship before anything else we were friends and as you develop a longer relationship with each other you develop a deeper love and she didn't see that changing you then see Christine and Cody paintball fighting on the date. They acknowledge that they were struggling. Cody points out that this is one date that we had a good day. And he did his job as to trying to keep working to make things better. Christine said right there, it looked like he loved her. They continue to wonder what is real. And by they, I'm talking about Christine and Mary. Mary says that she does not think that he was lying when he said that he loved them. Looking back at those clips, Cody says it was a struggle for him in those moments, basically implying like he, he, he ain't love him. They then get into this in vitro conversation with him and Mary because they show the clip of them talking about it. We know that uh, she finally gets to the point where she wants to have a baby and she wants to do it. And by the time she's ready to do it, he no longer wanted to. I still feel like Robin and Cody were playing around with Mary about this because why even present it if, Cody, you were going to go back and say that you didn't want to do it with her? Mary admits to this being a tumultuous time. She says it took five years for Cody and her to have Leon. When I heard Mary refer to their child as Leon, I said, wow, Mary has come a long way. Now I've seen pictures of her with Leon, but the fact that she's saying it on this television show, and before we know Mary was even uncomfortable with Leon being with someone who at that time identified as the same sex as Leon did, it just shows how far Mary has come in that regard. Cody says, when he first presented that, 
uh, whole situation, they were in a, a better place. And in a year's time, their marriage wasn't healthy. That's a lie. We know that their marriage wasn't healthy before. We, hear, we heard about him melting down that ring so Mary couldn't control him. We heard from Mary in the book that she was having a rough time with Cody prior to Robin and Robin kind of helped with some of that stuff because they had their own little secret. Like we've heard things to show otherwise. Cody says he's glad that they didn't do it because it wouldn't have been good for that child because they weren't healthy then. Mary says she sees how Cody is with various children and she doesn't know how he would have been with hers had she had another. Mary is always very careful with her words, but this is Mary letting us know that she has noticed the difference in Cody with his children in regards to how he feels about their moms. We then have the segment of Christine's jealousy, which was constantly used against her when she admitted at times that she was jealous of Robin. She said in the beginning, he was spending more time with Robin, but it never changed. The bird went into this wanting to have a relationship with each one of her sister wives, but she feels like by the time she came into the family, there was too much damage done between the other sister wives and maybe they weren't as open as she thought. Robin acted open, but Robin didn't show actions that she was open. Christine said that he was getting closer and closer to Robin's kids and further and further from hers. We see back then that Christine thought that Robin was a good person and she's looking at the clip and she's like, wow. She said once they started going to therapy and they talked about where Cody was and they all knew that Cody was at her house, Robin would say that she did not know where Cody was and that her kids were complaining about where he was too. Christine knew that was a lie. And as a result to Christine, that showed that she could not trust Robin because she didn't think she showed that she wanted the family. I wish we saw the otherwise reaction to this, but I think that Janelle would have agreed with her, but TLC isn't gonna show us that because for whatever reason, they favor Cody and Robin. I'm, I'm just gonna, whatever reason, the producers let Cody and Robin get away with things that they don't let the other wives get away with. So Robin claims she knows what she did and didn't do, and she can go to God and say that she has a clear conscience. And I just say, maybe she can go to God with a clear conscience because she admitted to God that she was lying. Because I'm not buying it. It's catfish time. Bottom line, the catfish happened because Mary was angry that Cody was not there for her. Cody would lay in the bed with her, but turn his back to her, not touch her, not hold her, not embrace her, not be intimate with her. As a result, she went looking elsewhere, whether she wants to admit that or not. To this day... Um, she says that the family thought that she was having an affair and she was leaving Cody, but she wasn't. She said that she lay in bed crying because she wanted Cody to be there and to support her. To me, things would go so much easier for Mary if she just would be honest and admit that she was going to leave. The bird claims to just wanting to support Mary. Cody says that she had an online affair that she now denies because she wants to be a victim. I got to agree with uh, Cody in the online fair part, but I feel like Cody needs to also admit that he has a lot of reason to do with why Mary had to go look elsewhere. It still makes him angry because at the time she was a married woman. If you felt like she was a married woman, then instead of holding everything against her at some point before the affair even happened, Cody should have been there for his wife, but Cody wasn't worried about Mary. He already got some of the things he wanted from Mary. Mary says she knows what's in her heart and what she did and didn't do. Um, then we get to Robin, who's going to try to give us the best performance of her life. So we get to this commitment celebration that they did in season six to celebrate their family and their commitment to grow together. You see all the kids walk out. You see all the moms smiling while looking at their iPads. The bird, on the other hand, has a straight face and she is pissed. 
I mean, you can't see the lips at all because of how tightly she has them, okay? He says, because he's about to, to read the mission statement, the Cody Brown family, we embrace the tablet drops. She looks down. She starts to tremble. She leans down and tries to turn the tablet off. I mean, you're hearing the, as she's trying to turn the tablet off. She then begins to utter, I can't watch this. I can't watch this. How do I stop it? How? She looks up to the sky. She tightens her eyes. With her squinted eyes, gathers the microphone cord and says, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I need a break. And she walks off and she slams the door. End scene. <laughs> That's how they end it. To be continued. No offense, but I'm gonna call it like I see it. Robin is Caucasian. I am brown. Why is it that Robin, who is fair complected, cries and she does not turn red in any areas? I mean any areas, not even her eyes. Myself, who is brown. You see my brownness? <laughs> when I cry the way Robin pretends to cry, Parts of me get reddened or pinkened or flushed. There's a natural difference that you see when I cry the way Robin pretends to cry. I need Robin to work on this. It has been over 10 years as Cody let us know in the beginning of the episode. Why has she not perfected this cry? Why? You all, that's the end. I'm interested in seeing what the next part brings. Thank you all so much for tuning in with me. Happy holidays. You see, I have on the Grinch. Oh, y'all, I'm sorry. I'm showing y'all on my top. Uh, <laughs> love. So even though he's supposed to be upset, you still have a little bit of love. <laughs> Happy holidays to everyone. Merry Christmas to those of you that celebrate. Thank you so much. And until next time.